This is Mike Mozart of the Toy Channel and Jeepers Media on YouTube with the rarest, coolest Crayola thing that I own in my collection. My Crayola videos were so popular, a lot of people mentioned, what's the coolest, rarest thing that you have? It's not this box of crayons, which was a common 72 count from the 1960s. It's this Tonka truck. And I have quite a story that matches this Tonka truck. Do you notice there's a painting on the side that exactly matches this one box of crayons? This came from an estate sale of a retired Benny Smith executive. And the antique dealer that got it gave me a call and said, you really would want this. What had happened is, is that Tonka truck made a lot of custom versions where they would customize them for certain companies. So Crayola was sent a sample from Tonka you know, to play around with and paint up like it would be for the custom version. And this is the sample that was sent from Tonka to Crayola. This truck was hand painted all over it and it's signed by the person that designed it and painted it. It says hand painted February 18th, 1964 by L.R. Scott Jr. L.R. Scott Jr. was the lead designer and art director of the Benny Smith Corporation responsible for a great deal of Crayola's design and artwork at that time period. So it's a very historically important toy and it's also by one of the most talented people that was ever employed by Crayola. After he retired from Crayola, he became a teacher at a high school nearby and became a respected member of his community. So this is the actual sample that he painted with the intention that Crayola would actually make this truck. This is all hand painted, excuse the noises here. The back of it's painted like this. So what I imagine what happened is after he retired, one of the senior executives of the Benny Smith Corporation thought this would be a great toy for their child or their grandchild, and they took it home with them. And you can tell it was well loved and played with, but in still very good shape considering. I wouldn't say that it's fine museum quality anymore, but it certainly would be a museum piece for a collector of Benny Smith products. I'll put it together. So this is the whole truck, the way it would have looked together as one piece. Here is the box of crayons that was actually hand painted onto the side of it by the senior art director and designer at the Benny Smith Corporation for their Crayola products. This is Mike Mozart of the Toy Channel and Jeepers Media with what I consider to be my rarest, coolest Crayola Benny Smith collectible that I have in my collection of over 700 pieces. Thanks very much.